science experiment and today we are going to experiment with physics so for this you will need and let me show you so for this you will need a piece of paper I've got colored paper but it does it can be any paper you like you will need a ruler if you don't have a ruler you need something that you'll be able to measure against so perhaps the side of a box which you can put markings on or something else you need a pair of scissors and you will need a pencil so to experiment with physics today you are going to be making a horse that moves by itself now you might be thinking have you gone mad no I have not I promise you fingers crossed that today we can make a horse that will move by itself now for this the reason we have the ruler is because our measurements have to be quite precise and we are going to use the centimeter side of our ruler as I said if you don't have a ruler you're going to want to measure with something that is going to remain the same size so perhaps measure with your little finger because your little finger is about a centimeter wide anyway and when I talk about centimeters perhaps you want to use your finger for that and to draw the straight line just draw across something like put a box next to it or another piece of paper because that will be a straight line so this is what we need to do so the first thing that you need to do is you need to draw a line that is 15 centimeters long so on the centimeter side of your ruler you can ignore the hole in my piece of paper I don't need that bit anyway you're going to start at zero and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now before I move my ruler away, I'm going to just put a little line every 5 centimetres. So 5, 10, 15. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end of my line and put my ruler at the end the zero mark and I'm going to go one and a half centimeters down remember your half centimeter is that little bit longer line between the big long line so half centimeter and do a little line go another one and a half so half one and then another one and a half and then a line there now what I'm going to do so I'm going to do the same on the other side so one and a half centimetres, little line, one and a half centimetres, little line, one and a half centimetres, little line. So now they should be the same length on either side, and I can check that by going 0, 15, yeah, and I'm going to join them up. Now, where I made my little line at every 5 centimetres, I'm now going to draw those lines in and now I'm going to draw the lines across where I made those little lines every one and a half centimetres. There we are. And there we are. Now that was the easiest way to create those lines. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to rub out the two lines in the middle. I don't actually need those two there. And I'm going to write body to remind me that that is the body. I'll just add the measurements on because if I put these on, then you can see. do is I'm just going to draw a little dotted line going downwards into the corner of each part. I'll draw mine on and then I will show you a close-up of what I have done. So let me just show you what I've done there. I've got my five centimetre lines then at each five centimetre they go downwards, my one and a half centimetre sections down and then I've got little lines pointing outwards, little dotted lines. Now these lines here are solid and the edges are solid 
and I've got dotted lines here, here, here and here and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make these four lines dotted. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub them out slightly but so I can still see where they are. Well, I don't even have to rub them out, I can just make them look dotted by drawing over them a little bit more. Moving gaps in between. Right, we go. So, I've got my body in the middle. On the left hand side, I'm going to have leg, head, leg. And on the right hand side, I'm going to have leg, tail, leg. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out my horse. I'm going to take my scissors. Now, first of all, I'm just going to cut out around the edge because I don't want to cut all the lines in the middle. So first of all, I'm going to cut out the edge so just around the solid outside edge. Don't worry about cutting the measurements off now because you don't need those anymore. They were more for you to see what I was doing. Nice and neatly. Nice. There we go. So now I've cut it out like this. Now I'm not going to cut along these lines here because they're the solid lines. I am going to cut across all my solid lines. So, first of all, those are little solid lines that I made in the corners. I'm going to cut across the lines. So it looks like that. And across the other side. Okay, so now it should look like this. Now I'm going to cut across these two solid lines, but not all the way through. So watch carefully. I'm going to line up my scissors. I'm just going to cut up to that line there. I'm going to do it again a little bit. There we go, just up. So now you should have like three flappy bits. I'm going to turn it over and do the same on the other side. There you go. So now you should have something that looks like this. So what you are going to do now is along these two lines you are just going to fold them. So I'm going to put it down and I'm going to just fold gently, gently. There we go. So it looks like that. Now we're going to fold along the other side, gently, gently, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to take my tail and what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl it upwards. I'm going to roll it in and roll it around, roll, 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 roll. I'm going to fold it a little bit and there I have a curly tail. I'll move that out of the way so you can see. So there you go. Now I have a curly tail. What you're going to do next is you are going to fold your legs downwards. So make sure they are nice and folded down. So I've got my tail up and my legs are folded down. Now I'm going to take my head and I'm going to fold it into a head shape. So, how I'm going to fold it into a head shape is going to fold it in half, but keeping it on there. So, just like that. Can you see I've pinched it together? And now I'm going to fold it a little bit more, and then I'm just going to pinch it outwards and fold it downwards, just so I've got some sort of head. Doesn't really look like a head, but we can still tell that it's there. So, what I should be able to do now is put it on and it will walk itself. Okay, so here I have my horse. Now, if you're very careful with it, you have to balance it properly, it will look like it is walking. So, let's have a look. Oh, 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 there it goes. You have to balance it 
super carefully. Now I, oh, here we go. Is it gonna go? Let's give it some help. Oh, no. Now I have used very, very thin paper. There you go, there it walked a little bit. I've used very, very thin coloring, colored paper to do this. You may want to use slightly thicker paper or try it with card and let me know, oh, let's give it a help again, and let me know how yours goes. Now you may be wondering what is going on here and how does it, or how is it supposed to work? Oh, we're still falling over, there we go. So the paper and the horse is rocking back and forth on its curved feet. And as the horse rocks from one foot to another, Gravity pulls the feet down and allows it to move. I also have the added extra in here that there is a window open, so it's not quite enjoying it as much. But there you go. Oh, you might want to play around with the head and the tail, see if that makes any different. Okay, the surface it walks along to is also very important. If I try it on a different one, mine just goes splat and that's because this floor is very smooth. There's not enough friction to keep the horse moving. However, when I put it on this one, there's much more and it is balanced and it did actually take a step there. Perhaps my feet weren't curved enough and I need to curve my feet a little bit more. So, you can experiment and see if you can make your horse move. See if you can get, see it go, make it go up or down a ramp. Perhaps if I did this, oh, it's still gonna fall. I think I need to sort my horse out. But perhaps if you put yours on a ramp, once you've made it be able to walk, will it be able to go up and down? Could you make two out of different cards? And could they, which one's better, which one's worse? <laughs> There you go. There was my attempt at making a horse that walks by itself. What I'm going to do to mine now is have a go at changing the shape of the feet, make them more curled, change the head, perhaps fold it in a different way, probably shut the window and change the surface and the height of my slope. Perhaps I'll try it with a different card and see what works. The key to this working is to make sure that your legs are straight so that you've cut them in a straight line, so going down the sides, because that's key to it working and standing up in the first place. So have a go and let me know how you get on. Have fun, bye!